Hi, uh, my name is Basir. In this video, we'll uh, try to understand the nature of roots, and then we will solve the last exercise of this chapter, exercise 5.4. Now, uh, we have seen in our earlier videos that um, we can find the roots of the quadratic equation using the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. And now, uh, this b square minus 4ac that you see inside the square root is actually known as the dis discriminant because that determines whether the quadratic equation has real roots or not. Now, if I consider b square minus 4ac, uh, there are three possibilities. b square minus 4ac can be greater than 0 or it can be less than 0 or it can be equal to 0, right? If b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, we get two distinct real roots. Distinct means uh, roots which are different from one another. Let's say one of the root is 2, the other root is 3. So they, they are, you, you can also consider them as different roots. So if b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, we get two distinct real roots, which means roots which are different from one another or different real roots. If b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, we get two equal real roots and if b square minus 4ac is less than 0 we don't get any real roots so you have to understand that we get real roots only when b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 or b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 let us try and understand this uh, with the use of a corresponding graph uh, for the first case b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 we have drawn a graph here we see a graph here now this graph the u-shaped graph which is known as a parabola uh, this u-shaped graph it 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 is cutting the x-axis at two points right one two it is cutting the x-axis at two points so we are getting two roots two distinct real roots now in this second figure also we see that the polynomial uh, the, the corresponding graph for this uh, for the quadratic equation is cutting the x-axis at two points even here we can see that uh, the corresponding graph for the quadratic equation is cutting the x-axis at two points so when b square minus 4ac is greater than zero we get two distinct real roots two uh, roots which are different from one another right now we see a corresponding graph for a uh, graph uh, when of a quadratic equation when b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 uh, here from the figure we see that uh, this graph right here it is cutting the x-axis only at one point so we get two equal roots if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 and if b square minus 4ac is less than 0 we do not get any re uh, any real roots because you see here the u-shaped uh, graph is not cutting the x-axis anywhere even in the second figure you don't see um, this u-shaped graph intersecting the x-axis right with this knowledge in hand uh, let us go ahead and solve exercise 5.4 problems this is going to be the last exercise of this chapter find the nature of the roots of the following quadratic equations if real roots exist find them We'll first find out the nature of the roots by calculating the uh, discriminant, which is b square minus 4ac. I will just go ahead and solve one of the bit for you. I believe the other two bits, uh, you can do it on your own. Okay, I'll choose to do the second bit. 3x square minus 4 root 3x plus 4 is equal to zero three x square minus four root three x plus four is equal to zero let me calculate the discriminant before I do that let me compare uh, 
this quadratic equation with the general form of quadratic equation which is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Now we see that the value of a is 3, the value of b is minus 4 and the value of c is 4. So let me write it down here, uh, a value is 3, b value, value of b is minus 4 root 3 and value of c is 4. value of b is minus 4 root 3 minus 4 a c this square it goes for minus 4 also and then for 2 also so i'm distributing the power i'm just distributing the power to minus 4 and then i'm also distributing the power to root 3 i'm just multiplying these numbers right here 4 3 is a 12 12 4 is a 48 4 square should be 16. Square and square root gets cancelled. I get 3 here. 16 3 is a 48. 48 minus 48 is 0. So b square minus 4 ac is equal to 0 which means I should be getting 2 real and equal roots. 2 roots which are equal. b square minus 4 ac is equal to 0. Therefore we get 2 real and equal roots if we see the scenarios here scenario for b square minus 4 ac is equal to 0 we get two equal roots minus b by 2a and minus b by 2a right because if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, you, if you substitute b square minus 4ac as 0 inside the root, you only end up getting minus b by 2a. That's the reason here it's mentioned that uh, we get two equal roots, minus b by 2a and minus b by 2a. Right. You should be getting two equal roots, minus b by 2a and minus b by 2a. Let me substitute the value of b and a. And the value of b is minus 4 root 3 and a is okay the value of b is minus 4 root 3 minus 4 root 3 and the value of a is 3 minus into minus is plus so I get 4 root 3 by 2 3 is a 6. This root is also going to be same. 2 2 is a 2 3 is a 2 2 is a 2 3 is a. Right. So you get the root as 2 root 3 by 3. You can keep it this way or you can simplify it a little bit further also um, by taking 3 as root 3 into root 3 but I believe you know this should be fine so we <coughs> calculated the nature of the root first we calculated the discriminant we got to know uh, that the discriminant is equal to 0 so we we know that we would be getting two real and equal roots, right? Let me go ahead and solve the next problem for you. Find the values of k for each of the following quadratic equations so that they have two equal roots. Okay. So it's saying that uh, the, equ the quadratic equation, this quadratic equation has a has two equal roots if it has two equal roots then b square minus 4ac should be equal to 0 right i'll be solving the second bit second question second bit kx into x minus 2 plus 6 is equal to 0 let me multiply uh, the bracket with kx kx into x is k, kx square 2 into kx is 
2kx plus 6 is equal to 0. Now if I compare this uh, with the general form of quadratic equation, here I see that the value of a is k, the value of b is minus 2k and the value of c is 6. Now in the question it says uh, they have two equal roots right if they have two equal roots then b square minus 4ac which is the discriminant should be equal to 0. Let me substitute the value of b a and c. 2 square is 4 4k square minus 4 6 24 24k is equal to 0. I can take 4k common from here 4k into k minus 6 is equal to 0. k minus 6 should be equal to 0 by 4k. So k minus 6 should be equal to 0 and k should be equal to minus 6 if I take it to the right hand side I would be getting plus 6. I can actually find out two values from this. Uh, let me change this a little bit. I can actually do it this way also. We would be getting two values for k here. k into k minus 6 is equal to 0. 4 is multiplying so 4 will divide on the right hand side, right? k into k minus 6 is equal to 0 by 4 should be 0. So if the product of k and k minus 6 is 0 then k should be 0 or k minus 6 should be 0. So I am getting the value of k as 0 or the value of k is minus 6 if I take it to the right hand side I will be getting plus 6. So values of k are 0 and 6. Okay, the third question. Let me take a new document for solving this. This document is, com is already full. Okay, is it possible to design a rectangular mango groove whose length is twice its breadth? Take okay. a length is twice its breadth. So I don't know breadth first. Let me take the breadth as x meters. Let the breadth is x. If the breadth is x, then length has to be 2 into x, 2x, right? Because in the question it says the length is twice of breadth. So 2 into what is the breadth? x. 2 into x is 2x. When it says twice, you have to multiply with 2, right? When it says thrice, you have to multiply by 3. Take care. And the area is 800 meter square. Area of rectangular mango group. is 800 meter square that's what it says right take care area is 800 meter square we would have to find out the length and the breadth area of rectangle is l into b right which is 800 value of l is 2x value of b is x x into x is x square which is 800 x square is equal to 800 by 2 400 x should be square root of 400 if I remove square from the left hand side I'll have to put a square root on the right hand side square root of 400 is 20 so in place of breadth we kept it uh, we assume the breadth as x now we have the value of x as 20 so breadth is 20 and length is in place of x if I substitute 20 2 into 20 is 40 so length is 40 and the breadth is 20 so this is possible because I am able to de determine the length and the breadth. So this condition is possible where it says length is twice the breadth and area is 800 meters square. Take care. So this design of a rectangular mango group is possible because we were able to determine the length and breadth. Fourth and fifth question, uh, I believe you can do it on your own because um, if, if you are able to calculate the uh, values based on the situation given uh, then you can pretty much say that it is possible if not the situation is not possible with this we have completed uh, chapter 5 
quadratic equations quadratic uh, equations from uh, Telangana state syllabus if you have any questions any concerns feel free to uh, post your comments and if you like the video I believe you can spread the word across you can let others know about the video by liking the video or subscribing to the to my youtube channel which is Basir Academy or yeah that's about it and uh, you know I I intentionally see that I am skipping few questions uh, in the exercise because uh, you know I find it increasingly difficult to uh, properly write down on the graphics tablet and also because uh, because of the fact that I see that few of the questions are similar so that's the reason I skip it skip those questions so that you guys can try uh, try out those questions on your own uh, but in case you find any difficulties feel free to post your uh, questions as comments I'll read your comments and I'll get back to you so this was Basir from Basir Academy See you in the next video. Goodbye.